one, please. Vincent Martinez, V-I-N-C-E-N-T, Martinez, M-A-R-T-I-N-E-Z. And title and who you're with? Wasco City Council. So talk about, you know, the feeling to see all the support here. And like the pastor was just talking, you know, people who don't know the Ramirez family, but uh, this is really just affecting the whole community, huh? And they wanted to come and show support for them tonight. Wasco is a very tight knit community. You may not know everybody's names, but we all have a connection with each other. And you can see that support here. There's probably about 500 people that showed up on a day's notice to pay their respects to the Ramirez family as well as to Deputy Campus and his family. Uh, yesterday, we put together a community run in honor of Deputy Campus, and in about four hours notice, we had over 100 residents show up to run in the rain to honor that fallen deputy. This is a community that strives for greatness, and we come together in times of need for one another. And that money is being given to the family right now. How much money was raised? So, no, that was just a run in honor. We didn't raise any money for that yesterday. There are a couple of uh, charitable organizations that are here collecting money for the Ramirez family tonight. Do you know the name of those organizations? I do not remember off the top of my head, sorry. And what was the connection you were saying? Your son was on the wrestling team with, was it WD Compass or someone else? No, with one of the, uh, with one of the young men from the Ramirez family. My son went to high school with them and wrestled, you know, so uh, our wrestling community is very tight-knit in Wasco. And so it's, it's devastating, not only to the city, but within that wrestling community as well, because once you're a member of our wrestling community, your whole family's a member for life. And, and so this was devastating for my son and for our, our wrestling community. And that young man passed. Yes. Um, and, you know, Cindy, Cindy Zimmer was talking about how this doesn't happen in Wasco. Can you talk about that and how you know, the impact that something like this has on the city. This is devastating for our city. Um, you know, I've, I've lived here my entire life, and I can't ever remember something this tragic ever occur occurring here, and hopefully it's something that we'll never have to live through again. Um, you know, we, we have been plagued by violent crime as, as of late, like a lot of communities have, uh, but our community has come together, and we're sta taking a stand against the violence in our community whether it be domestic, gang, it doesn't matter. As a community, we're coming together and we are taking a stand and working with the Sheriff's Department to stomp out all of this violence in our city. And anything going forward, I know you just mentioned that you're gonna be working with the Sheriff's Department. Um, anything that you guys are going to be doing going forward, either with this, either with memorial service, either with curbing the violence? Uh, in, in terms of memorial services, I am aware that the Sheriff's Department's having a candlelight vigil on Friday uh, and, you know, Many of our community members will be attending that, and we have to wait to see with the family. Obviously, this is this just happened, so there's not a lot set in stone. Um, as a council, obviously, we'll have to go back, we'll have to talk, and we'll have to decide what kind of policy initiatives to take regarding the the violence. But it's not something that's going to be overlooked. Uh, you know, a few months ago, our council created a community task force to bring community members together to give us ideas on how do we interact with the youth, how do we prevent gang violence, how do we keep these kids out of the gangs. And our task force is really geared towards finding solutions to the problems and thinking outside the box. 